Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we're trying out Nacho Daddy. Uh, we actually came here before we started YouTubing about three years ago. Yeah, and we loved the nachos. However, they were out of a lot of toppings at that time. Yeah, it was in the middle of the pandemic, or right at the beginning of the pandemic, yes. and supply chain issues. But no supply chain issues today. Yeah, and we're craving nachos. Let's go. All right, starting off with a couple of margaritas. Uh, Rachel ended up with a cucumber jalapeno, or a spicy cucumber. And I did go with the Mexican candy, which they don't have mango, but so they're doing strawberry. So it's spicy with strawberry, and then she's got spicy with cucumber. All right, we are also starting off with some uh, chips and queso, salsa. I know we're gonna get nachos, but it's hard not to start with that while we're looking at the menu. And that's how Rachel does it. <laughs> hey, all right, I went with the spicy cucumber margarita. It's got, looks like tahini on the rim. Oh man, that's good. Mm. There's extra lime in there too, I think, because um, I can really taste it. I don't get a lot of heat though from it. Interesting. I actually think cucumber is my favorite flavor for margaritas. Yeah, so it's got a nice hint of cucumber and lime, so it's that real good freshness of it. Uh -huh. I'm not getting the hint of the um, jalapeno. jalapeno. Yeah. Maybe later yeah. on. You'll Maybe later on. It. But I think the mix of them will be perfect because this tastes like very, very good this morning. <laughs> so one of the things when we came in 2020, yeah, I think it was June jalapenos. of 2020. Yeah, they had no jalapenos at the restaurant. So, so we couldn't even get us a spicy It actually margarita. made for a really weird um, experience because they also had like no steak. They, had, yeah, they were out of, like, a whole bunch of weird items. But today tell, they've got everything. Yeah, I will tell you like chips and salsa you can't go wrong with. That queso is really good. And they do and bring they, out a candle to yeah, keep it, keeps it warm. warm. Yeah, very cool. All right, so I ended up going with um, the waiter recommended because I do like spicy. So this is the Mexican candy one. It does have tahini on the rim. It has jalapenos inside. And instead of, they're, they're out of mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but they have but, mango salsa. Right, but they go with uh, strawberry instead. Yeah. So let's Which go you really it. like strawberry anyhow, I so do. that's fine. You can see the seeds floating around in there. Maybe yours is gonna be spicier than mine. I notice heat. I don't know how you're not, I mean, maybe, Maybe you don't have the seeds. I don't see as much. I don't in see yours. as many seeds in mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has um, a nice kick to it, and then the strawberry is like super sweet. So you get that sweet heat, and that's really what we go for. That's true. Okay, I went with the chicken tinga nachos. Uh, this is huge. This, yes. They're easily shareable plates. Chicken tinga, fresh chips. I went because I wanted them um, array of cheese, and yeah. it looks like I got it. I think it. there's like two or three different types of cheese on there. Yeah. Um, Pickled onions. Our waiter really recommended this one he because did. of like the flavor that you get from the chicken. I think it's like a smoky chipotle, tomato sauce. Yeah, and um, then you've got some sour cream on there as well and avocado. Ooh. This is gonna get messy. Mm. But it looks so good. You really can taste the smokiness of that. Yeah. And tri-colored chips. You can't go wrong with corn chips at all anyhow. Have you tried the onion yet? Huh. I kind of like the idea of the onion um, just to add a little bit of acid probably. Yeah. And then you can like cut into it with the uh, sour cream, avocado. No, I'm guessing, I'm going to have to guess that it's probably chicken breast, but it is so tender. It's seasoned so well. And it's like shredded, right? It's shredded chicken on there, yeah. Yeah. Um, just so you know, we did get here when it, right when it opened, so I'm sure it does pick up in business-wise. But uh, yeah, we're here at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Okay. Yes. Those pickled onions are fantastic on there. I think we're gonna be able to put a dent in this, <laughs> but I really do like the smokiness, the tenderness, um, and the flavor that's coming out in that chicken tinga. It is really, really good. Awesome. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and like. 
if I see a lime, I'm going to add a lime. I feel like it's probably supposed to happen, right? Um, this is a pork carnitas. You can see there is, it looks like a melted cheese. Yeah. Um, whereas yours had like the cheese whiz kind of style or cheese sauce. Cheese sauce. That's cheese a better way sauce. to say it. Uh, but check out this pork. How juicy that is. You can even see a little bit of a crispiness to it. Um, mm. There's pork avocado. Is always so good. Yeah, avocado, sour cream, the onions that you have, cilantro. That bite was way too big. <laughs> and for those of you who couldn't understand, he said that bite was way too big. So I'm hoping because I also see refried beans on there. So I'm hoping that there's a really good. Yes, I do think that there's refried too. beans. All right. That meat is delicious. Super juicy, just like you could already see it. Um, also, the chips are nice and crispy right now. I imagine they'll get soggy eventually. Yeah, that's why we're going to have to like power through this that's stuff. That's right. <laughs> um, I'm going to see if I can get to the refried beans. Yep, there is some refried beans you can see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and drop that on the table for a little bit of spice. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get one more bite with like all the stuff on it. Did you grab an onion too so yep. you get that? I'm okay. kind of excited to try the onions. Again, it looks like that's going to be a big bite, Josh. I didn't do all of it. <laughs> yeah, these are freaking delicious. I uh, I really have been like just looking to find a good nacho for probably like four to six months. I was like, it's been a long time. And the great news is this place specializes in nachos and it definitely hits the spot. All right, we are quite a few bites in at this point and I really do want to point out the smokiness flavor on the chicken is very big um, and I actually think it's really good. I do too and I love the amount of cheese that's on these things. Yes. The other part is, is I don't know if you can see it from this side, but if you lift up you do get dry chips underneath so yes. then you can just make your own bite. <laughs> yeah and even if they do get too soggy, look at that. Yeah. We were thinking ahead when we ordered extra chips. I want to say too like about the differences. I've been having a couple bites of Josh's as well and you oh, can gosh. taste a difference in the meat. <laughs> look at that cheese ball. But that pork is so tender. It is one of... I just love it because it really tastes like pulled pork and carnitas. So tender. And there's such a difference in flavors in both nachos. It's great. Yeah, and we did check. I, I believe there's about 10 different types of nachos. So it's cool that, I mean, you would think nachos are nachos are nachos kind of thing. But the, they really aren't. So. And that there's so many different flavor profiles because if these two are so separate, you got to imagine the other eight are too. Yeah. All right, we are just wrapping up here. Uh, we are getting a couple of margaritas. They do send them on the road for you. Yeah, so that's helpful. And yes. I mean, they're good margaritas and you know how I'm a fan of margaritas. So. Yes, mm -hmm. um, definitely hit the spot for the margarita standpoint. And I would say for the nachos, it also hit the spot for me. Yeah. Um, the chips were good and crispy. Um, you know, towards the end, if you don't eat all the, the ones with all the topping, of course they're gonna get soggy, but um, I feel like it was actually, it held up pretty good. I agree, and like I said earlier, there were some underneath, and then we had the chips and queso earlier, so just pulling those chips. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, overall I thought it was good. We'll put the price up there. The The nachos are large enough to be shareable, so um, Absolutely. don't think that you have to order two orders of nachos. No, but I will say, if you, like, for us, we like kind of having different flavor po profiles when we're yeah. eating. I think only one of those would have been too much are the same thing by the time you got through them because there's that many so i liked having two again as josh said the price um i think they're about 20 25 dollars a nacho but it's easily shareable yeah easily i would even say up to three or four people yeah make a friend order a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. and share it yeah which one was your favorite of the two i like the pork carnitas better um i thought the chicken the smoky flavor was really good but it got a little bit too much if i had too many bites of it I really liked the chicken tingo one, and it wasn't even just for the smokiness. I love the amount of cheese they put on it. Like, I am a yes, cheese girl. super cheesy. Yeah, so they covered that thing in cheese and that good smoky, and it was smoky, but um, to me it was just a different flavor profile added together, and the star on both of them was adding that pickled onion. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I thought it really makes it stand out. I'm glad it was on there. Yeah. Um, and the drinks were great. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.